I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you solutions of questions from Cambridge International Examination Test Papers. Here is a question from June 2018 test. Question number 10. A spherical mint of radius 5 mm is placed in the mouth and sucked. Four minutes later, the radius of the mint is 3 mm. In a simple model, the rate of decrease of the radius of the mint is inversely proportional to the square of the radius. Using this model and all the information given, find an equation linking the radius of the mint and the time. You should define the variables that you use. Hence, find the total time taken for the mint to completely dissolve. Give your answer in minutes and seconds to the nearest second. Suggest a limitation of this model. So we'll actually basically assume that all throughout the mint which we're talking about remains spherical. So we'll write the limitations that it is always spherical. So that is our assumption, right? And now we'll just uh, derive the formula from the given conditions. We are given that the spherical mint of radius 5 mm is placed. So initially the radius is 5 mm. Four minutes later the radius of the mint is 3 mm. So, so in this case at t equals to 0 the radius of the mint is 5. And says 4 minutes later, radius of the mint is 3 millimeters. So when t equals to 4, then the radius becomes 3 millimeters. Right? This is in millimeters and the time is given in minutes, right? So 4 minutes. So time is in minutes. So we'll define time, t in, t is time for us. So we'll write time t in minutes. Is that correct? and radius r in millimeters right so that is the time in minutes okay so we are given this in a simple model rate of decrease of the radius of the mint is inversely proportional to the square of the radius so what we're trying to say here is rate of degrees means dr dt right rate of degrees so rate of degrees means dr dt is inversely proportional to the square of radius. That means dr dt is proportional to 1 over r square and that gives you that dr dt is equal to some constant over r square. Is that clear to you, right? So that is how we are going to get our equation. Now, using this model and all the information given, find an equation linking radius of the mint. We want radius and time, r and t, right? We have dr here. We want r and t. We have dr dt. Okay. We want time. That means we need to integrate. That's a differential equation, right? So, let's cross multiply. So, we'll use the space here. r square dr equals to k times dt. And then we can integrate on both the sides, right? Integrate on both the sides. So when you integrate this, r squared dr, you get r cube over 3, right? So that is what you get. On this side, it is a constant. You are integrating with respect to t. So you get kt plus c. Now you can always find the value of c and k using the constraints. So C at T equals to 0 and R equals to 5. So we're going to use this condition 1 to find C, right? So we'll use that condition to find C. So R is 5 at T equals to 0. So we have 5 cube over 3 equals to K times 0 plus C. So that gives you the value of C as 5 cube over 3, right? So, so from here, we get C is equal to 125 over 3. Is that clear to you, right? So now we have a relation between uh, R and this, which we could write like, uh, let me rewrite this. So we have R cube over 3 
equals to kt plus 125 over 3, right? Now, we need to find the value of k also, which we can find using the second condition. That is, when t equals to 4, r is 3. So, r is 3. So, we get 3 cubed divided by 3 equals to t is 4. So, 4k, four right? plus 125 over 3. Clear? Okay. So that is, uh, this is uh, 3 cube divided by 3 is 3 square. So that is 9, right? So from here, all right, let's see. So, so from here we can find the value of k. So we get 4k equals to 9 minus 125 over 3, which is 27 minus 125 over 3. Correct? So we get that value as uh, 4k. Uh, let's use calculator. So we have 27 minus 125, which is minus 98 divided by 3. So k will be equal to, this is, let me write this, minus 98 over 3. So the value of k is minus 98 over uh, 3 times 4, correct? So let's divide this minus 98 by 12. So what you get here is minus 49 over 6. So we get the value of k as minus 49 over 6, correct? So now that gives us the relation. So, uh, so find the equation linking radius of the mint. Let me use different color to write down the relation now, which is basically R cube over 3 equals to uh, minus 49 over 6 T and the C value is 125 over 3. Is that clear? So that is how we are going to get solution for part A. Now B is, hence find the total time taken for the mint to completely dissolve, giving answer in minutes and seconds to the nearest second, right? So completely dissolve basically means, so let's use another ink here. Completely dissolve basically means that R becomes zero, right? Okay. So that means r equals to 0, find t. That is uh, find t, correct? That is the equation. So in this equation, if I put r equals to 0, I get 0 equals to minus 49 over 60 plus 125 over 3, clear? So let's take it to the left side. So we get uh, 49 over 60 equals to 125 over 3. So that gives you t as equal to cross multiply 125 over 3 times 6 over 49. Okay, let's calculate. So we'll do 125 times 6, and then we are going to divide this by 3 times 49. So we get 250 by 49 in decimals. It is it is equals to 5 minutes right five minutes and we have some decimal which is point one zero something like this right so to convert this to seconds what i will do is i'll take away five from here and multiply by 60 to get seconds which in decimals is 6.12 right so we get this 6.1 seconds is that clear to you right so that is how we are going to calculate. This. So I hope you understood how we converted that to seconds, right? So all the decimal places which we had multiplied by 60. Now here we need to write our answer seconds to the nearest second. So therefore we are going to write this as 5 minutes and 6 seconds. Okay. So that is how we are going to solve this question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. From the given information, we decided that 
time will be taken in minutes, radius in millimeters, the ratio where rate of change is inversely proportional. So we get dr dt equals to k over r square. Integrating, we got the result between r and t. We found those constants using the initial conditions given. And then it was simple uh, algebraic solution to get the result. I hope you find it straightforward. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Here is my email address. In case you have any doubts, feel free to write to me. Thanks for your time and all the best.